Hi guys, this is Zach from Watches on You, and today we're taking a look at the Tog Hoyer Carrera Chronograph Hoyer 01 with a ceramic case. So this watch is, it's the same as the other Carrera Skeleton Chronographs, except for the fact that this one has a ceramic case. Now that's very interesting because ceramic is one of the hardest materials known to man and it really, really does not scratch. I mean, there are very, very few things that will be able to scratch this. Metals can't scratch it. So when you're wearing it uh, in day-to-day -day life, it's really gonna hold its form extremely well. It is prone to trip chipping, however, so if you hit it on something metal, it could create a little chip but it will not scratch. So uh, if you're really banging it around, yeah, it will chip, but other than that, it's really not gonna wear and it will basically look brand new for an extremely long period of time just due to the fact that it is made of ceramic. So now, other than the ceramic case, which actually, by the way, is 45 millimeters, I didn't mention that yet in this video, uh, it uses the Hoyer 01 movement, which has a 50 hour power reserve, and it's a column wheel chronograph movement. So those are two things I really like because column wheel chronographs, they're smooth, they have smoother action and they're renowned just because they're a bit, they're harder to manufacture than a typical cams chronograph movement, which just shows that they put a little more effort into crafting this piece. And the 50 hour power reserve is very nice because that will last over two days, which is generally the mark at which I say a watch has enough power reserve. Now, Tag Heuer also does disclose that it has a 40 hour, it has a 40 hour power reserve if you leave the chronograph running and that's actually pretty good because a lot of watches can't even meet the 40 hour power reserve any watch with the Salita SW200 for example only has a 38 hour power reserve but on this you could leave the chronograph running and still get 40 hours which I think is a great feature of this piece so just showing you the dials here you can see that you have so you have an hour chronograph dial on the bottom you have a running seconds on the left and then on the top you have a 30 minute chronograph minute counter now you also have a date down here in between three and four o'clock and the, the one thing i really have a problem with on the styles it's very very hard to read and i know they kind of wanted to black everything out to make it look cool but i think they could have done it in a way that made it more easy to read the watch making the indexes a little bit brighter or something because if you're using this as a chronograph it's going to be really hard to get an accurate reading of this piece and i'll just activate the chronograph here so now it's going and this watch beats at 4 hertz, which is basically the standard for a luxury timepiece like this one. And now you can stop it with the upper pusher and then you can reset it. Now being it's a column wheel chronograph, it's very, very smooth. So you can actually see the chronograph movement be in the case back right here. So I'll just show you guys that. I'm just going to get some of the fingerprints off there. Sorry about that. So here is the movement of the piece, and you can see that they blacked out the rotor to kind of fit in with the black theme of the piece, but then you can see that red column wheel up at the top, and when I activate the chronograph, you can actually see it spin. And then when I stop it, start it, stop it, and then reset, you can see the chronograph parts actually moving. So I love exhibition case backs, especially on a chronograph where you can actually see the watch movement working and just going through all of its functions. So now let's put this watch on the wrist. So on the wrist, this watch feels very similar to the steel Carrera chronograph. And I will say that the really the only difference is the fact is the fact that it actually it's not like cold on your wrist just because it's ceramic so it's not going to be cold like metal is so it feels very nice other than that on the wrist everything kind of it molds to your shape of your wrist very well i have a seven inch wrist for reference now the one thing i will say though is this watch is extremely large a 45 millimeter chronograph is a big watch but it's also very, very thick. I mean, you can see that it really comes off the wrist. This watch isn't really to my taste. It's a little bit too much for me, I'd say. I like smaller watches. I mean, I think this watch, if you want just a massive watch that people are gonna notice, this is a good watch to have because it is so large, but if you have a small wrist or you don't really like big watches, this is definitely not a watch for you because it is absolutely massive on the wrist. And also the black makes it pop out of your wrist a little bit more and more noticeable. So 
This watch comes in at a brand new price of $6,550. Now being that this watch has a ceramic case, I think that's actually a very good deal for a brand new watch just because ceramic is a very hard material to work with and the fact that they can make a watch out of ceramic and still offer you a price of $6,500, I think that that is a pretty good deal. Is if you're buying an Omega, you're probably gonna be, if you're buying a ceramic Omega, you're probably gonna be spending ten to $12,000 versus six. So this is about half the price of what ceramic Omegas would cost. And I know Omega does, they have some more special ceramics that they're finishing a bit more and everything, but if you want a ceramic watch and you don't want to spend that kind of money, I think this is definitely an option to look at. It is flashier than the Omegas, I will say. The Omegas kind of have a cool look where it almost looks steel, but it's actually ceramic. This one, you can definitely tell that it is not regular steel. And it, it since it is such a deep black, it's going to be very, very noticeable. But right away again i'd like to mention we're at jb hudson jewelers they lent us this piece for the purpose of this review and i'd also like to let you know that we'll be leaving a link in the description to this piece along with our channel amazon store where we have our favorite watch straps and accessories and tools so you can check that out if you'd like thank you guys for watching this video remember to like subscribe and share thank you